So in today's video, I'm going to quickly show how to add a unit test to an existing project. If you're creating a new project, you would just tick off the include test button when you're creating your project. But in this example, I'm going to show adding them to a project that already exists. So I'll create this right now. So now we just have a blank app that doesn't do anything. And if I try to run some tests right now, nothing is going to happen because they don't exist. So you can run tests by doing command U, which is going to run all of your tests, which is a good practice. You want to run all your tests at once to make sure that nothing is breaking. So in order to add them, you do file new target. And then you're going to pick a unit testing bundle. Um, I'll just do the default name, finish. So we want to make sure that in our app scheme that our tests are connected. So we do edit scheme and we go to the test option. We'll see this uh, unit testing bundle showing up here. You could have multiple unit test bundles if you want. As long as it's showing up under your tests, uh, it's hooked up. So right now, if we go to our tests and we try to access, let's say the view controller, we want to run some tests on here for some reason. I'll just add a random variable. Just so we could get access to it. So in here, we'll use this test example function. When we try to get that view controller, we're going to see that we don't have access to it. And that is because of how unit tests work. So what Xcode does is it creates a module from our app. So in this case, testing fundamentals is its own module. So just like we import XC test, we'd have to import the our actual apps module. And I purposely made this an app that has a space because that's a little tricky when you import. So what we do is import testing underscore fundamentals. So this is the module that Xcode generates for us. And then once we import that, we get access to all our uh, view controllers and custom classes and stuff. So now if I try to access view controller, I might have to build. Oh, just kidding. So made a mistake. You can't simply import you have to do a at testable import when you're importing your module and that'll basically expose all of your classes to the testing framework so now if I try to create the view controller we get access to that custom class and that custom variable we can run any test we want we could say you know Sir equal and then to run the test you could just click the play button up here or you could use the shortcut command U which will run all of the tests and we see that the test passes and that's basically it so real quick example just showing how to add a testing framework to an already existing app. 